Here is something that you may all be familiar with in anatomy lab. Maybe you've seen a lot of these. This is a large artery. This is a big blood clot within that artery. And you also can see the bulging of the wall of this artery. The definition of a bulging wall of a large artery is an aneurysm. Aneurysms may be filled with blood clot. The aneurysm may also rupture. The aneurysm can also show dissection of hemorrhage into its wall as well. Uh, in many cases, the uh, uh, original lumen of the uh, artery may be completely thrombosed, and there may be dissection of hemorrhage somewhere within the weakened wall of the aneurysm. Aneurysms are not a disease in itself. They're basically, for all practical purposes, uh, caused by the main arterial disease of the world, atherosclerosis. But nevertheless, uh, we uh, talk about different kinds of aneurysms. Uh, let's see if we can show something else here as well. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. Ah, sure we can. Notice how there is a blood clot within the slit of a, this cut section of an artery. And offhand, you must have thought, well, geez, does this artery have two lumens? Generally speaking, the larger lumen is probably the original lumen, especially if it's the wall that's thicker. And here is an area where blood has dissected through the weakened wall of the aneurysm. And sometimes you wonder, you know, which one is really uh, carrying the blood. Often, uh, and of course the main lumen should be, but sometimes as the hemorrhage dissects through the wall of the aneurysm, you can find just as much uh, real or clotted blood in there as well. Here's another interesting uh, view of an aneurysm in real life rather than radiologically or uh, with MRI. Uh, here's an or surgery. Here's an aneurysm in which you can see the wall of the aorta because here are some of the uh, intercostal or perhaps uh, arteries here. But, and you can see that this is a large blood clot. And you could see uh, that there's kind of like a false wall underneath it. This could very well be uh, the aneurysm. And as you can see, it looks like that this blood clot is extending into the uh, branches of the aorta, uh, lar one of the largest ones of which is the renal. But this could very well be the a superior mesenteric and the, I'm sorry, the celiac and the superior mesenteric. Let's look at the aorta uh, now um, microscopically. Let's look at an aneurysm. Uh, in the old days, uh, syphilis accounted for a good percentage of aneurysms, especially, especially the thoracic aneurysms. Now with that, we don't have it anymore. I think it's a good general rule of thumb. You could say aneurysms are all caused by atherosclerosis, except for the ones that are congenital. And um, the congenital ones, especially in the brain, are often re referred to as berry aneurysms because they look like very distinct berries growing off the artery. Here's an arterial wall. You could see it's degenerated. You can see that it's not only degenerated, but weakened such that this blood here has been allowed to dissect it in its layer. So this could probably be the real lumen of the uh, aorta. And here is a part of it, the wall that has been weakened and where the blood has dissected through. Uh, remember, uh, this disease, um, this case was called cystic medial degeneration or dissection of aorta. But don't think that cystic medial degeneration is a disease. It's a description due to, a, uh, due to an aneurysm. And the disease, like I said in most cases, is atherosclerosis. Thank you very much.